Hey, what is going on guys? It's Mystery Vop here. In this video, I wanted to give you guys some tips when you're playing as Warden in Jailbreak. As these few things can really make a difference when you play and they can also make the gameplay much more fun and enjoyable for everyone. So the first little tip here is you want to give cell orders as quickly as possible, right? So right when you spawn in, once you know that you're Warden, usually on most servers there's a little indicator in like the top corner or something. And right when you know that, you want to go ahead and grab your guns and at the same time you want to give an order such as to AFK freeze, touching and facing the cell doors or whatever. And that's just so none of your guards uh, can kind of screw you over and open the cell doors before you give orders and claim that it was a free day. Um, and because that's just genuinely annoying and a lot of the prisoners will just kind of spring out of their cells and claim RDM if you kill them. The second thing is to use extermination periods when there are a lot of AFK uh, prisoners. Uh, on some servers, it is KOSable slash slayable, I guess, for you. If you say extermination day, because it implies that you can just kill the prisoners if you see them. But if you deem it an extermination period, which is okay on a bunch of servers, I believe, then you can uh, clear out the AFKs and make it so uh, if you can see the prisoners in their cells, then you can kill them. Obviously, you don't want your guards entering the cells and actually looking for the prisoners because that defeats the whole purpose. It's essentially just to get rid of all the AFKs. The, thir uh, the third thing here is to make mics for prisoners KOS and mics for guards slayable if the need arises. So if you have a prisoner or whatever, that's or a prisoner or guard that's spamming on their mic, maybe they're playing music if a moderator's not on or something like that, you wanna make sure you kind of uh, mitigate that. So if they're a prisoner, you can just say mics for prisoners or KOS. Um, and then if they're a guard, usually you can make it slayable. And then if there's a moderator on or something, they can get that done for you if the guard is being uh, out of line. The next thing is kind of one of the most important. You want to transport your prisoners in a line. So what I usually like to do is if it's on a map such as Parabellum, where there's like a line or New Summer, where you line them up on the lower armory wall, I'll have the prisoners AFK freeze on the wall and then tell them to turn 90 degrees to their right. And then I have each prisoner uh, usually crouch walk or alt walk follow the prisoner in front of them. And then I have the front prisoner follow my waypoints, which which leads me to my next point, which is to use waypoints to guide the prisoners or mislead them. So as I was saying before, you can use your waypoints to guide the prisoners if you transporting them in a line. To, for example, if you're a new summer and you want to play duck hunt with them, you can transport them in a line and it'll help uh, you know diminish the amount of prisoners that are lost and that can eventually rebel. And also, you can mislead the prisoners if you're on New Summer. Again, for example, if you place your waypoints on the lower armory wall and on the mic, you can say for them to go to the upper armory wall and then like you can wait a certain amount of time and then you can just gun down all the prisoners uh, at the lower armory wall because your orders are not to go to that wall. The next thing is use your guards to track down the prisoners. Um, the guards are there for, uh, for your disposal, right? You are the warden. So the guards need to obey your commands if they are not like unreasonable so if you have two prisoners on like the lower armory wall again we're talking we're taking new summer as an example if you have two prisoners in the lower armory wall and you can handle them and they don't have guns or anything and you you can just play like snitch or whatever with them then you can have your other guards go out go and search for the rebellers to qu uh, quicken the round and make it make lr uh, more you know more attainable at a faster rate the next thing is uh, point important as well. You should take a request from your prisoners and honor the last request. On most, if not all servers, the last prisoner will get a last request or LR if they do not rebel. And it's extremely important that you honor the LR as well as take requests from prisoners. If people are typing in the chat that, if, you know, if everyone wants to do for, uh, you know, hide and seek or duck hunt, for example, you shouldn't just be putting them on a wall and do wall games because those are really boring. Some prisoners obviously like that, but a lot of other prisoners don't like that. They find it boring, and it'll increase the chances for them to rebel. And then the final point, obviously, is be fun. Uh, if, you, if you're if you boring and you just have the prisoners AFK freeze against a wall or on a line the whole time and just play first reaction, last reaction with them, that's not fun for anyone, especially you know even the warden or the guards. That's not fun. The prisoners are just standing there. They don't get to run around. You know, Especially if we're in Parabellum, I like to incorporate a multitude of games like Roulette, Climb, Death Run. You know, there's a lot of good games to be played around the map, and you can also make your own games up as well. 
And also, because if the prisoners don't like you and they don't like the games you're doing and they find it boring, they are much, much more likely to rebel. And that's obviously going to get you killed. You're probably going to get a little pissed off about it. It's going to get your guards killed. And it's just going to make the whole jailbreak experience much less enjoyable for everyone. So uh, I hope you use these tips. I hope they help you out. If they do, please leave a big thumbs up on the videos. It really helps me out. Be sure to subscribe. Also, check me out on Twitter and Facebook, both Mystery Bop. Um, if you I missed any tips and you have some more, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below as I would like love to use them. And I'm sure everyone else who watches the video would like to use them as well. So as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and peace.